Uh, this area, we call it paradise. Uh, it's pre predominantly dairy country. I walk from that door to that door every morning, and that's the best part of my day. I, I would never, ever want to do anything else. We've been at this location since 1990. Currently milk 450 cows all together. They have about the same number of young stock. We milk our cows with four robots and a double six herringbone parlor. And uh, the robots are put in and it'll be three years ago this September. You know, it's a modern way to milk cows. I think the boys spend more time now in the barn and working with the cows than they did before we had the robots, but it's, it's better quality time. Uh, they're not milking cows, they're doing things that are making them more profitable. Uh, it's a voluntary system, so the cow does have to come herself. Um, she comes in, then it starts uh, dispensing her grain slowly, and you know, then starts the pretreatment on the cow and puts the machine on. So this is an A4 Lely robot. Um, so this is what you would call the arm. So there's six, uh, six tubes going back to the, to the inside of the box. This jar is pumped out after every cow. This cow just came in, so she's getting, she's already gotten brushed once. It came back and had a peroxide disinfectant. She's getting brushed again with some air to dry the teat off before the machine goes on. As soon as the brush comes away, you, you can see a, a red light that's gonna come on. So the laser is up in here. <clears throat> that's what's gonna find the coordinates of the cow to put the end of cups on individually of each quarter. Underneath here in this arm is where every, the milk is getting, so we're getting milk temperature. We're getting uh, conductivity and a whole bunch of other stuff, and those are those are kind of the big ones. So we're getting we're getting that on individual quarters, and uh, so then all that information is is getting sent back to the computer. And there's you know there's there, each cow has certain levels based on what their normal history is, and if cows are are above or below certain levels, they get they get flagged and put on a health health report list to you know, get checked out and see if they have any problems. I mean, we're just paying attention to you know, the cows. And so she's given 25.8 pounds so far. Just making sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. As far as the cow comfort, our cows are so happy. And they get up and they get milk when they want. And you know they're not pushing to a hole in the area. And uh, we really like the way they take care of the cow. You know, if the boys have a game to go to or something you want to go to do, you can go do it, you know, and just leave. You might have to come back later, but you can kind of set your schedule to what you want. Your life's a little easier that way. We're always trying to get better and we're always trying to do better. And um, working with registered Holsteins and being able to, to use, use those bowls and use everything that comes with it, I think is just, just helps us. We just like being on the program, we like the classifying program, and I do think it increases the value of our cows. We like good big size cows that give a lot of milk and have good healthy feet and legs, and I think being in the registered business, that kind of gets us what we want in our cattle. Well, you know, it's just nice being together. It's nice working, working together. Kids are always here. It's great having all the family here, it really is. We're all hard workers. We appreciate what we have. Um, I think we appreciate having each other all here on the farm. It's just nice to be able to count on one another for that. My father told me 40 years ago that farming is going to get better. You know, I'm not sure it ever has, but I'm going to say the same thing he said. So I think there's a future in dairy farming. I think there's always going to be that need. People want to farm it, I think the Northeast is a good place to be. I really do.